you know, you save the kingdom at the last line of defense, after you already saved the queen, and then the hero of legend appears, and everybody just forgets about you. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Chrono Trigger. Last time, we drove back Magus' forces on Xenon Bridge, including the iconic Zombor. And this time, now that the way is opened, we have a whole southern continent to explore, presumably where Magus is located, because that's sort of how geography works. After clearing out all the baddies, the bridge becomes fast travelable. If that's not a word, I'm making it one. And we have a new city. Dorino. A precursor to the potato chip. The hero has come at last. Then I suppose it's only a matter of time before the epic battle begins. Mmm, exciting. So exciting, I gotta give people money. Usual suspects. A little more usual suspects. No equipment. You're dead to me, buddy. Doesn't help that you look like my terrible lawyer, which means you probably were responsible for him being born. Is it true that Ma His Majesty suffered injury? Oh, what will become of us in our kingdom now? Mother says I'm not to play outside because it's dangerous with all the monsters. I'm so bored! It is locked. Can't get the sparkle in there. They say the Fiend Lord is a master of arcane magic of old. The cantrips of his fiends are nothing compared to what he wields. Oh, where could Sir Cyrus be? Surely he hasn't deserted the kingdom. Oh dear me, is that the Naga Bro, my dear hiding there? Won't you do an old man a favor and trade it to me? Give you something good in exchange. I don't need your rubbish, no, all right. <laughs> I know, being old's lonely. Uh, you probably can't even really get going most of the time, so here. Take all the help you can get. Truly? You mean it? Yahoo! Oh, what a glorious day! Now then, just wait right there. No need to get impatient. It's unlocked. You're free to take what's inside. And I'll be taking this bro, Marty. <laughs> Don't tell Granny. <laughs> My very own sweet Naga pet. <laughs> okay, now that's just getting gross. <laughs> Uh, not being shy at all about what they mean by that, you get a magic capsule for helping, helping an old man get his magic on once again. That can go to... Uh, we'll say Marl this time. Help her on two fronts. I feel kind of dirty drinking that magic capsule after knowing what spawned it. The Dorino Inn... Are the rumors true? Is the Fiend Lord's army truly closing in? Well, the mythical hero has appeared, so I'm sure it will be alright. They'll say the legendary Masamune sleeps deep within the Dindaro Mountains, but they say a terrible beast rests there as well, guarding the blade. Pray, the end of the world is at hand. I recognize you, you're one of those world endy types from the cathedral. I wonder you'd say that. Many people visit inns. If you're searching for someone, inns are a fine place to ask. By the way, did you know a whirlwind energy will dissipate if it's hit with a wind slash? Nature has a way of balancing things out. Magus is trying to summon a terrible evil. If he succeeds, there will be no quarter for us. We'll all perish. That's what I mean to, that's why I mean to keep hiding in the bottom of this mug. Ick. <laughs> this old man was really funny. The old men here are great. You looking for the hero? You might have better luck down south in the village of Pore. That's where they say he's from. Okay, well, we have direction. Uh, do you say anything? Uh, okay, just 50G for a night. I don't think it's worth it. A uh, great swordsmith long ago once forged a masterwork blade called the something or other Mooney. <laughs> no, no one alive today has the skill to make a sword to rival it. Have you met the hero already? No. Oh, I haven't met him either. I wonder what the champion of the world looks like. I'm so thrilled to see. What if I say yes? Truly? Oh, I wish I could catch a glimpse of him. I have butterflies in my stomach just to think of it. In before the old man in the uh, residence starts lying about being the hero. Elder's house! The item I seek is the mystical rainbow shell. Here's some money to cover your expenses. You'll have the rest when you retreat. I'm counting on you, Toma. Worry not. They do not call me a legendary explorer. Without reason, I will not disappoint. <laughs> I'll be awaiting good news. Well then, now that that business is settled, I think I'll go down and drink for the road. Not being shy about what you're using that. I'm busy now. Let's talk later. Toma, 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 to catch up, uh, uh, 
Now, while we're just kind of going through here, uh, oh, uh, only the leg legendary sword of the Masa Mune can slay the Fiend Lord, and only the chosen hero of legend can wield the blade. That was kind of important. I want to talk about the old man. The old man is one of my favorite character models that exists, and you can kind of talk to him from the side, and you can see that he has a pompadour. Talking to him from the front, however, I think tells a different story. To me, it always looked like he was wearing an extremely tight pair of goggles and his big shiny head was just bulging out on top because it's the flesh color. And I like that interpretation a lot. It makes him even funnier to me with how many funny lines they say. He's talking about how the rainbow shell can create armor to guard magic, uh, guard against magic, yet I worry misplaced trust in that young man. He claims to be a great explorer, but was I right to believe him? The hero's here to save us. He's strong. It'll help stop all the bad monsters. Uh, house belongs to the village elder. As unusual, Garby, where are you outsiders? Did you come fl uh, fling Magus' fiends too? Uh, Magus commands three fearsome generals, Ozzy, Flea, and Slash. Best to stay away from the lot of them. There's not a drop of humanity to be found amongst them. They're fiends through and through. I like how during not a drop of humanity, I burped. <laughs> I'm just living up to what she's saying. Magus's keep seats at the island in the east. The sheer cliffs surrounding it make it inaccessible. Ozzy. I didn't get much of a chance to talk about him before he had to go. Ozzy is... Okay. I have to praise the uh, in-game sprites for doing such a good job under the limitations. Making everything look like Akira Toriyama's art style. Everything's got great personality, and it, I think, is part of the reason why this game has just aged as well as it has. It's fantastic. But I thought Ozzy looked very DBZ when I saw his in-game sprite. And then I looked at his artwork, and he looks extremely DBZ. <laughs> Wanted to share that with you because I thought it was funny. Fiona's villa here has got two good items for us. My husband Marco hasn't returned from the war, but we planted and tended these woods together. So I mean to do my best to protect them until the day he returns. We heard about a woman around this area who wanted to bring life back to the forest and failed at it. As you can see, 600 years ago, it's still looking pretty desolate even now. It's a sad tale. Next up is another town. Two of them in one day, I guess. <laughs> We're just talking to loads of people. The Pore Inn is considerably cheaper than the other inn. There's a market which I'm willing to bet has nothing of value because that also wouldn't make sense. Yep, usual suspects, nothing. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Porean beret and a golden suit. How silly I was to think otherwise. I'll take two golden suits, even though we can technically use three of them because whenever we swap people out of our party, it's easy enough to change the equipment. And this time, I won't forget. It's always in the shops that I don't remember to equip stuff. That gives a traditional, just a traditional beret. Uh, beret. Uh, beret. Give that. And, oh, I guess I didn't really need to because Taban's vest is really good. Yeah, I'd rather have the speed than the defense on her. So, Robo, you get to be a convenience. I just swap you in. Don't have to worry about it. Armor, I can fight against the Fiend Lord. And with this, I can... Make you jealous enough that you start dying? Oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> I'm afraid my brother will hurt himself. Uh, I, if you don't consider that hurting himself, I'd really hate to see what you do consider. <laughs> Strength capsule can go on Chrono. I've ruined everything and didn't keep things even. Sorry, Robo wasn't convenient enough for me to do it. Tavern. Strange monster came in here not long uh, not long past, mumbling about Queen Lean and this Masamune that. Uh, sure was an ugly frogman. <laughs> Ooh. I can't believe the legendary hero is a boy from this very village. Have you heard the latest? No. Well, let me be the one to tell you. The legendary hero is from our own village. He got mad at me for not listening to him. I've not seen this little Tata lately. I wonder what he's gone off to. I suppose I should count my blessings. Things are a lot quieter without that little brat causing trouble. Ha! Huh, I get it. He hasn't been around. He's been gone. His name's Tata. Huh? Yeah. It's It makes sense. Because, you know. My own son, the legendary hero. Seems I sired myself a champion. Can't say I truly see it, but I don't suppose you ought to question good fortune. Father of the hero. <laughs> I like the ring of it. And then if you go upstairs... More old men! We are just collecting them all in these two villages! Grandson is the great hero. That's from my side of the family. 
A lot of people to talk to, but they all have important things to say, so I haven't wanted to skip them. And of course, this village has to have an elder too. Tata bears the hero's badge. At first, I thought it for a fake, but it's the genuine article. He truly is the hero of legend. I suspect he's combining, he's combing Dadaro Mountains to the north, even now searching for the sword the legends speak of. A place known as the Magic Cave lies east from the Denodoro Mountains. That place sends, will send chills down a grown man's spine. I'm gonna be Tata's bride one day. Boxes beside the bed have been handed down through this family for generations. It's not the slightest inkling what's within. Find a way to open them and the contents are yours. We've heard this one before. If only I had some spiced jerky. What a wondrous meal I could make. We know of a place in our own time that sells spiced jerky, but I'm not exactly sure that we're in a position to be that generous, having 10,000 gold, and that's exactly how much that costs. I did realize that we saw um, Toma inside of the uh, uh, Elder's house, and then he said he was going to go to the Dorino Inn to have a drink. Let's go see him. We met him in an inn last time that we saw him. Ah, oh, hello. How many day How are the days treated you? I've got some information for you if you'd care to buy me a drink. You've already spent all the money the old man gave you on alcohol, haven't you? My thanks. Barkeep, another round. Word has it, an odd beast has taken up residence deep in the southern wood. As strange as it may sound, they say it's a monstrous frog. How about that, eh? Wait. Other reason I came back here, meant to say, I wanted to stay in this inn. I forgot how important this was. Aw, oh, Mara looks cool with her hair down. You want a remote detail? I'll give you a remote detail. So remote I even forgot about it. An item called Ambrosia has appeared within our inventory. This only happens if you don't already have one in your inventory and if Marl is in the active party, it's implied that she makes this overnight. This is known as a power meal in the Super Nintendo version and seems to be a bento box of sorts, so she just kind of makes it thinking of the greater good of the group. It doesn't tell you what it does, and that's because it'll heal HP, MP, or both at random. Just a fun little detail. And speaking of fun little details, remember that prototype of Chrono Trigger that was in retail shops for demoing purposes? Well, the text in that mentions that the forest being destroyed that Fiona wants to rebuild it looks so desolate because the need for weapons in the fight against Magus caused humanity to have to destroy the forest for sake of materials. It's a case where debatably canon things can give um, a lot more lore and make things more interesting. Next up are the Cursed Woods. We heard that there was some sort of monstrous frog creature, and hey, speak of the devil, here it is! This is an edible frog. I'll take your word for it. I don't feel the need to confirm this. Edible frogs are very weak enemies. That's only 14 damage, and I believe that's the only attack they're able to do. They salivate on you to maybe erode you a little bit because it's very acidic. Luca, I think you might have an elemental weakness to these guys because they'd probably be water. Yes, they do. And that's a one-hit wonder. Inside this chest, a mid potion. Inside this one, a shelter. And inside this snake will soon be a frog. Observe. They counterattack, not on you, but on nearby edible frogs to restore their health. So generally speaking, it makes sense to... Whoa! Uh, nice inflation there, buddy, but it doesn't do any more damage than your earth attack. Uh, you want to take out the edible frogs first so that the snakes cannot feed on them, and then... Oh, it's called a fangtooth. Okay, I was about to say, like, wait a minute, it's not actually called a snake, is it? Yeah, they will feed on the edible frogs if they are still standing. If they are not, then they go down easily. So you want to beat the enemies in that order. And then, up top, behind this bush... Inside this metallic Granny Smith apple, a magic scarf, which we've already seen. Who's there? Ah, Chrono, what brings you here? Come to practice your sword play? Inside his other giant metal Granny Smith apple is, well, I guess he locked his apple there. What? His majesty wounded. I see. There's naught I can do. Pray forgive me, but I'd like to be alone. 
I am no hero. There's not I can do to help. Next time on Chrono Trigger, we'll have to see what can be done about the current situation if the hero isn't looking to rise to the occasion. See you guys then. Thank you.